Hey YouTube, this is part two on my repair of my ceiling fan wind generator. You guys get to see the inside. And I'll be taking you through the repair and rebuild of this wind generator that I had outside. Now this was outside for about two years. And you can see it's still in good condition. Barely any rust at all. And here's the inside. Has a little, little spots of rust for two years. <laughs> that ain't bad. So, anyway, what I what I found out inside is oh, I just want to say when you take down your wind generator to do any work to it watch out for spiders in there because I did have a spider in here and I was able to kill it so <laughs> before it bit me and looking at my magnets right in this area you can see that these two are close together and that shouldn't be and as I go on a big gap in between here and down in here the magnets are together so I was losing power and then up here I only had three I had a big gap another big gap magnet magnet these two were close together so basically all I got to make sure I do is uh, get my spacings right and I have to add some uh, super glue to my magnet to keep them in place because with that hurricane we got with Sandy well we didn't get the hurricane we got the high winds I actually the winds actually busted the metal bracket holding my blade on the generator and I think that's when the magnets and became close together like this. So I'm most likely going to be adding more magnets to this unit and create more power from it. Uh, this is the outside. Hardly no rust at all. Except right there. And I think that rust was from the bolt. Because here's the bolt I took out of there. And you can see the end is rusty. So, not too bad of shape. It's, I'm happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and remove this inner ring. Take that out. I'm going to take all the magnets out. And we'll kind of look inside here. Make sure there's no magnets up under the other side there on the bottom. And. I'll go through it. Make sure I checked all these to make sure none of these copper wires were broken. They all look pretty good. And this ring you can get at Home Depot. You see what it looks like. They sell it by the angle iron and hardware. You gotta look around for it. And we'll kind of see what that looks like. Right there. And what I do is I take that and I, I bend it around the outside here. I bend it around as far as I could get it and then work it inside. And bring it all the way around. Then I'll make my mark. I'll cut it. With my air gun. Uh, I could cut it with my air gun. My grinder. And I usually cut it a little bit longer, uh, then I could work work it down to where I need it to be. You know, it takes I did about three cuts just to get it to fit inside right, so it won't collapse and end up hitting on the stator. It should stay against the wall like that. 
but when I took it apart it hit against here and I'll be talking more about these wires how to try to find the best wires to use I'm using the yellow and white on this one as my main wires so I'll, I'll be once I'm done with the rebuild and this way you can see how I build these and I'm going to go ahead and start taking this apart I'm going to get all these magnets out and get them in order and I'll show you guys how to put them in order and how to place your magnets and I'm going to end this video thanks for watching have a great day